Today we're taking a look at the Joby Wavo Pod USB Condenser Microphone. Yeah, that's a mouthful. We're also going to be taking a look at the Joby Wavo Boom Arm. Now the microphone comes in at $47.99 and the boom arm comes in at $99. Now, in this review, one of these absolutely knocked my socks off. Want to find out which one? You're going to have to find out by watching today's episode of Level Up. I want to take this moment to say thank you to Joby for sending out this microphone and boom arm. They sent it over in hopes that I would go ahead and do a video review for you guys to let you guys know what my thoughts and opinions are are on their stuff. So having said that, if you haven't watched this channel before, I operate by an ethics statement, which when someone wants to send me something, I let them know just because you send it to me doesn't mean that I'm going to make a video. And if I do make a video, it doesn't guarantee a certain outcome. All opinions expressed in my videos are mine and mine alone. So having said that, uh, Joby did still send it out to me. Thank you for that. And we're going to get to it. There's some good, there's some great, there's some bad, and there's some ugly. I'm going to cover all of it in this video review of the Joby combo microphone and boom arm. Let's get to it. Let's see what comes in the box in the Joby Wavo Pod Mic. Or Pod, Joby Wavo Pod. I don't know. Let's see what's in the box. All right, just a quick shout out to my buddy Dave Soltura who does a YouTube channel. I used to do unboxings like this where you could see my face in the picture and do the unboxing. I'm like, eh, nah, I get away from it. And I got lazy. But just watching his videos, uh, he's awesome at his unboxing. And uh, I just, you know what? I got to get back to it. I got to get back to it. I love the vibe that he's putting out during the unboxing. So that's what we're going to do. And I accidentally, without even thinking about it, threw the box to see what else comes in there. So what's included in the box, it comes with the microphone, microphone standing support. Washa, voila. Well, this is the microphone itself, as you can see. Uh, very bright and shiny pop filter right there. Very red. Does it come off? If you don't like the pop filter and you want to take it off, you just have to unscrew the back. And there you go. Without the pop filter, this is what it looks like. Just in case you like some red, we're going to put the pop filter back on. All right, let's take a look at the buttons. So you see right here, we've got our volume gain control knob. Press it to mute. I'm trying to pull it out, and it's it's not coming out. So it might wiggle left and right a little bit, but that's about it. Uh, below that, we've got our polar pattern, cardioid or omnidirectional. So if you're doing a podcast, set it in the middle of the table, and it'll record audio from both sides of the red line in omnidirectional mode. Uh, it's also got a little sign right here that tells you which each one is which. Omnidirectional pattern, both sides. Cardioid polar pattern, just the front side. There's also some clip-on slides right here, I guess, for some additional accessories. And then you also have these quarter-inch threaded inputs on both sides of the yoke if you want to mount it a certain way or, again, add some ex other accessories, I guess. On the bottom, we've got our USB-C input right here. And we also have our headphone monitoring jack right here. And then we've got another threaded input and as you see on the bottom, there is a threaded adapter. This is a 3 8 to 5 8 adapter sitting right in there. So this is the boom arm. All right, I don't have one of those sliding glider thingies, so I'm going to just go old school and just slowly move my hands for you. All right, you like that? You know, much I might, you know how much I paid for this glider? Nothing, just a saying. Let's go ahead and open this box as well and see what comes in this box. Ugh. So let's just take a minute to talk about this this desk mount, this ginormous beast of a desk mount that comes in the box. You've got the cup holder, which is huge, and it's also got a foam or a rubber pad at the bottom. It's got rubber pads, which I truly do appreciate. When this is attached to your desk like so, the hook for your headphones, it goes out and not in. Then on the heavy-duty screw that kind of clamps it on, there's also another rubber seal or gasket just to kind of give you some added grip. So very nice. Very heavy. This thing is heavy. It's like heavy as my car. It's crazy. Getting ahead of myself, I wanted to go ahead and put this on my desk, plugged in, 
and see what it sounds like on the desk mount. Now you're gonna notice you can hear the fan that you couldn't hear before. Well, I open up the video with my in OBS and the only filter I had on was noise suppression, just so you didn't have to hear the fan as I was doing the unboxing. But to be accurate in the testing, I wanted to see how this performs on your desk, no filters, out of the box, with the fan in the room. Why is that important? Well, when you have a microphone right up on your face and you're talking close, uh, you can relax your voice and it doesn't pick up so much of the noise in the background. But when you get further away, it's going to pick up a lot more of that room. So this is what it sounds like on a desk. Let's go ahead and touch the desk and just do some normal stuff and see how much of that noise transfers into the audio that is being captured. So. I'm just looking at OBS and just like tapping the slight tapping is registering at negative 15 DB that's a lot so definitely want to be careful if you're gonna set this on a desk don't touch your desk let's just see what clicking sounds like of a mouse typing on a keyboard yikes All right no one is ever gonna do this in a live stream but just saying but typically what they may do is just grab the mic, move it to another spot in the middle of a stream. Okay, now let's go ahead and hook it up to the boom arm. I'm kind of hoping because they have these rubber paddings right here that separates the desk from the actual mount, if that knocks down some of that noise that's being transferred just by sitting on the desk itself. Oof. Oh my gosh, just, just listen to that. All right, before I mount it to the boom arm, I'm getting so excited. I really like this boom arm, by the way. I think I'm more excited about the boom arm than the mic, just being honest. But anyways, uh, it's going to be hard to do off-axis rejection uh, as far as the noise in the room when it's attached to the boom arm. So now that I got it off the uh, desk stand and it's in my hand, it's a little easier to move around. Let's go ahead and do that. This is pointing directly at the fan. Away from it. Towards it. So there you go. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. And you're getting all that handling noise. Now, I think I finally have done all the tests that I need to do as far as off-axis projection, implosives, things like that. Oh, Omni. I'm not done. This is, this is crazy. All right. I should have wrote all this down just to make sure I stay in order this morning. Cardioid polar pattern. This is what it sounds like. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Puts pineapple on his pizza. When we switch to omnidirectional, I can... It's just picking up everything in the room in every direction now. So as you can definitely hear, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. He puts pineapple on his pizza. I'm trying to be very gentle moving this thing because of the, the noise. Omnidirectional, it's going to pick up both sides. And uh, without the pop filter, with the pop filter, you hear a little bit of a difference. Just a, just a smidge. Yeah. Okay. Back to cardioid. So yeah, definitely make sure you're on cardioid if you're by yourself because it's going to pick up everything in the room. And it's lit up for you too. There's a little blue light telling you which one you're on and when you switch it back and forth. So there you go. little blue light tells you which one you're on. I think I'm really done now. I mean it. I think I'm really, really done now with the testing of this microphone. Let's go ahead and mount it to the boom arm and just see how the boom arm is. <laughs> Yikes. I don't think I've ever had a microphone that has handling noise like this. This is, this is brutal. Now I've turned all the fans off. You name it, I'm talking all the fans. The fan from behind the Sony ZV-10 is off. The exhaust fan in the bathroom down below is off. The fan in the other room is off. The AC is off in the other room no noises whatsoever and when I stop talking I can look at OBS and I could still see something being picked up by this microphone yeah still picking it up and I have no idea where this is coming from maybe the air conditioners that are hooked up to my windows in the first floor I mean that's how far that is away and oh my gosh wait a minute 
Can you hear my feet rubbing the carpet? Oh my goodness, I've never heard that before in my audio. I mean, that is super sensitive. Now let's revisit all the tests that we did earlier as far as the desk noise that might transfer through to the boom arm. Do the keyboard test. Let's do the mouse clicking. I see some stuff popping up in OBS. Can make sure my filters, there are no filters on here. Yep, double checking. No filters, no processing. You got it. Uh, desk tapping. Still sensitive. Not as bad as what it was on the desk. This is definitely like kind of normal for this price range for cheaper microphones. As far as performance that you would get for those microphones, it's kind of on par with those other $50 and under uh, condenser USB microphones. But I'm going to say this boom arm is doing a really good job. I know you could hear some stuff, but just know the difference between this and the clacking. We're bypassing the boom arm now and just the handling noise of the microphone itself. That is crazy. You see a lot of podcasts where people are using the Shure SM7B. $400 microphone, I know, but everybody has this tendency because they see someone else grabbing a microphone on their live stream that they could do it. But when you grab this microphone, it's like, like something, an asteroid meteorite is hitting your house. <sighs> With this being overly aggressive and sensitive, how much of that is the microphone versus how much of that is the boom arm? So I wanted to hook up a microphone that immediately when I opened this up and saw this end attachment, I, I thought, oh, wow, I can use this with my LCT240 Pro. And the reason why I'm saying that is the shock mount that comes with these, when you hook it up, it is hard to position it just right on a boom arm. You usually need a third piece. And one is this like ball mount you see right here. And this is a $40 ball mount, which allows you to like position a microphone just right without having to touch the boom arm. It's hard to do that on microphone boom arms, especially the Rhodes uh, PSA uh, boom arms. Can't do that, you need that third piece. But with this attachment here, I am able to loosen this and I am able to position this how I want. I can move it up, I can move it down, I can go left, I can go right. I mean, you know, I, I now once you tighten it, it's not gonna go anywhere. But the flexibility and the maneuverability of this to get this microphone just how I want it is something that I cannot and have not been able to find in a traditional style boom arm yet. I've had to use my low profile boom arms because it has that same end piece on it. But what if I want to do something that's above my head? Doesn't matter. However I want to use my Lewitt LCT240 Pro, I don't need a third piece to go in between the microphone shock mount and the boom arm to get it however I want. I can use this with my Lewitt LCT240 Pro and I absolutely love it. So let's see how much of the desk noise now travels through this boom arm uh, to an XLR microphone, which isn't as sensitive as this guy right here. Oh, big difference. Big difference, love it, very nice, big difference. Keyboard clacking. Big difference, and I'm like I'm not talking about how much is being picked up as far as pressing the keys. I'm talking about the vibration that we definitely heard, the thumping of the desk that was going from the keyboard. It wasn't just the keyboard clacking; it was the that you could hear the the pounding of the desk. Big difference, clapping of the uh, or clapping, uh, clicking of the mouse. I'm just hearing the clicking. I'm not hearing the desk vibration that was being picked up with the Joby Wavo uh, microphone. I am really, really loving this Joby boom arm. Absolutely loving it, loving it. And just for comparison's sake, no, there's no processing on this microphone. This is out of the box as well. Uh, no filters, anything in OBS, straight out of the box, microphone, audio interface, XLR. XLR is just gonna sound better anyway than most uh, $50 USB condenser microphones. They're just super sensitive. The Lewitt LCT240 Pro is just a, a just a gem. So please don't take this as I'm trying to compare it to the LCT240 Pro. That is so unfair. This is such an amazing microphone. I just wanted to test the boom arm itself on a microphone that I would use it on, especially with this end piece now. 
really impressed. Just had to see. Moving on. And let's just go ahead and talk about it. This is a condenser microphone, USB-C condenser microphone, so it's picking up a lot of stuff. In fact, a little too well. It picked up the fan, really aggressive. It picked up the air conditioner in the other room. And then when I turned all that stuff off, it was still picking up the fan noise from my Sony ZV-E10. Turned that off. I was still getting a fan noise in this microphone. It was my exhaust fan in the bathroom down below. Insane. And you just, you heard me accidentally tap a cup holder to this desk. It picks up desk noise like crazy. So the Joby Wavo pod mic USB, just real quick, I think it's very aggressive out of the box. Uh, when I did some processing to it, I felt like I landed on something that I could definitely use. I went into OBS and used my filters, the three band compressor, and I dropped 2 dB out of my highs. I took 2 dB out of the mids and I bumped up my low 4 dB. Again, only using like two to three minutes to find something to jump into a live stream if I wanted to use this microphone, and I landed on that one. So there is a good usable sound uh, if you feel like this is too aggressive for you to be had on this one. But one thing you cannot EQ, process, or get out of if you're live is the handling of the desk. So I'm going to give it a six. There is good audio to be had on this one, this thing, and I do love the fact that it gives you omnidirectional, so you can use this for a two-person podcast, and it did pick up the people equally as well on both sides. It did perform as advertised, but again, if you're going to be using two people, this microphone was way more sensitive and omnidirectional. You've got to be like in a bubble in order to have clean audio with this thing. So I give it a six. I don't give it anything lower because of the price tag. It's only $47.99. They're not charging you $100 or up for this microphone. They're only charging you $47.99 for it. Whenever you buy really cheap microphones, like $70 and under, you're going to have some strengths with that microphone and you're going to have some glaring weaknesses that is going to require effort on your part which weaknesses are you willing to live with? Which ones are you willing to put work into to negate that on your part to overcome them? I feel like with the Joby, it's asking a lot of you. It's asking a lot if you're not in a sound treated room like this. And you could see I have sound pads everywhere. Okay. So I give it a six. The boom arm. I love the boom arm. Whole different story. The Joby Wavo boom arm. I love the end attachment of it, the low profile attachment that allows you to position this microphone any way you want, upside down, sideways. You want to move it left and right and up and down to get that position just right. You can do that superior, uh, just much needed maneuverability as far as boom arms that I have in my studio. I love that it gives that to me. It's only something that I'm able to find in my low profile boom arms All right, where you can loosen it. And you can go up, down, left, and right. But even then, I got to battle it a little bit. With the Joby Wavo, I didn't have to battle that at all. It just loosened up a little bit, and I was able to take it exactly where I wanted to go. So it was actually easier to maneuver than my favorite low-profile boom arm that I like to use in my studio, which is the Mono. I don't even remember the name of it, but it has the metal frame on the inside, the plastic on the outside, which I actually love because the metal can be fingerprint-sensitive. Uh, get fingerprints everywhere with this matted plastic finish on the top i can grab it and i can touch it but it's not leaving fingerprints on here like crazy i do like that i love the mount that comes with this thing it is heavy duty you know it's little things that makes a difference as far as just sitting down and running a live stream real quick i love just how they just think about how to make your experience with a boom arm the most pleasurable and they do it they do it so if i had to give this a grade Man, I give it a nine because it just it does everything that I want out of a boom arm. It's it's tackling everything, and I've got a ton of boom arms in here. But at ninety nine dollars, you know, I'm, as I'm sitting here talking, I'm like, do is nine too low? Crazy to say, crazy to say. But I'm objectively sitting here looking at this thing. If it's a nine. What did it need to do in order to get a 10? And I'm looking at this boom arm, the heavy-duty mount that I've just never seen in any boom arm I've ever had before. And then the the amount of rubber padding that they put on there to knock down the noise. The end piece, which instead of that silver one that you see on most of them, and it goes up and down, but you've got to turn the boom arm forward and backward in order to maneuver the microphone. Here you can leave the boom arm right where it is, and you can adjust this left, right, up, down, 
any angle you could think of, this boom arm can give it to you without moving the boom arm itself. I, I, can't, I can't think of a con. I really can't think of a con. I love how it conceals your cables. And it has the red strip, plastic strip on the top. If you don't like the red, you can go with black. But at least it gives you some color that you usually don't find unless you do RGB. And if you're not an RGB guy, you don't want to plug something else in and have another cable in your setup just to light up your boom arm. I actually like this better than an RGB. It's simple, but it just complements the red in the microphone. And I have some red microphones behind me. The road, dang it, I'm very handsy, very handsy. But I have some red microphones in here, and I think this would look really awesome with my red microphones. Really awesome. I, I don't, I can't come up with a con. So if I don't have a con, can I not give it a 10? It, it feels hard and criminal to give anything a 10 because there's always something you could do a little better in order to give it a 10. But I don't know, if they were to ask me, what would you ask different? I... I can't think of anything. I can't. So yeah, I'm gonna have to bump it up to a ten. I don't want to, but I can't give them a reason. I can't give myself a reason to put a con in there to knock it to a nine. It's it checks every box for me. Every single box I want out of my boom arm, it's giving it to me. I love it. I love it. So boom arm ten, microphone six. That's my review of the Joby Wavo Pod USB condenser PC mic. And the Joby Wavo boom arm. Love the boom arm. Love the boom arm. The microphone at $47.99. It's a cheaper microphone that can give you some really good features. Just how much are you willing to put up with as far as uh, the stuff that it requires of you on your part to get that clean audio. Are you willing to do it? That's where is it worth the $47.99 comes into play. That's going to be a decision for you. I don't want to bow out of it here. But I'm just saying for me... Too much work, but for you, you might be willing to do it. So it's it's all about you, boo. Thank you for joining this episode of Level Up. My name is Mike Newman. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button and the notification bell so you guys stay notified when future content comes up. And hey, if you want to support this channel, I would really appreciate if you would become a member. One of the things you get to do is, uh, as a member, I publish videos uh, during the week, but sometimes I get them done early. If you want to be able to watch it before I publish it, get an early sneak peek that other people don't get, and you can kind of give me feedback on stuff, and I could actually sometimes go back and add that feedback into the video review. So sometimes you could actually be part of the video. You think that's a cool feature? There's other features as well. Just become a member, as low as $1.99, as much as your heart can t uh, desires after that. Love to have you aboard. And uh, with that being said, my hands are getting tired from all this exercise, so I'm going to stop now. So until I see you guys in the next video, thank you to all the members of the channel. I really appreciate you. I really love you. Thank you for the support and for all the subscribers. I love you too. I love you too. Just not as much as the, the members. There's a little bit more love there. But uh, I still love you just the same. And for those of you who are watching who haven't subscribed, I really, really like you. <laughs> I love everybody. All right. Until I see you guys in the next video, I'm out.